So you've just started off your channel on YouTube and you are looking for a way to make yourself a little bit more compelling on the platform and you want to make your thumbnails look that much cooler. Well, today I'm going to show you how you can do that with some free software. And the best part, you're using AI. So how are we gonna start this off? The first thing we wanna do is we wanna head over to dream.ai, probably one of the best AI websites you can go for. That's for free and you don't have to do any sort of crazy signups. The first thing you should do when you're on that website is think about what kind of topic you're gonna do in your videos. So let's say I'm gonna be talking about the best camera equipment. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna find a compelling thumbnail that would be compelling to put on a video. So for example, let's say I'm making a video about a specific camera or cameras in general, and I want a specific image of a DSLR. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write a prompt that has to do with that subject. Now don't be afraid to add or change or move around different words in your prompt and also work around with the art styles. Don't be afraid to try different art styles because then who knows, maybe you create something really interesting and unique. So I finally found the perfect image for my thumbnail, especially because it fits so well with the topic. It has a DSLR, it's colorful, and it's in a flat lay format, which honestly, I didn't expect because honestly, when it comes to AI, you really don't know what to expect. So what I wanna do now is I wanna head over to Photopedia. Now, Photopea is a free program, works just like Photoshop, and it's on the internet. So you wanna import your image into Photopea and make sure that you are putting it in a format that's 16 by nine. 16 by nine is the universal ratio for regular screens. So that's usually what YouTube uses, and that's what you should go with. Now, while you're in Photopea and you've imported your image directly into it, the best thing to do now is modify it to your best liking. Honestly, for me, I'm gonna just keep it simple. And while you're at it, don't be afraid to add text to your thumbnail. It's the best thing to do. People want to just look at something visually and say, okay, that's exactly what I want. And when you have something simple like a thumbnail with text on it, people don't have to look at the title of the video. They can just look at the thumbnail and be like, oh, this is about cameras. And as a graphic designer, I want to add a little something, a little tip as a graphic designer. If there's one thing that I've learned from graphic design is that the best types of thumbnail have legible, legible text. If your thumbnail does not have legible text, people are gonna be looking at it, and then people have to look over at the title to just figure out what you're trying to say. So just use legible text. Don't use cursive text or anything like that. Make sure it's bold and easy to read, somewhat like an aerial, or go for something that is fixed and easy to read. And there you go. You have your thumbnail ready for your video. Now, this was just a very simple example. You could go way, way deeper into this. You can add your own image to this. You could add your own logo to this. You could use AI to build something all by itself that you just use that one image without any text, and that could work too. So it really is and gives you the flexibility that you need in order for it to work the way you want it. And ultimately, when you are on YouTube, you want to be super flexible and you wanna level up, and this is definitely the right way to do it. So here is our finished result. I mean, come on, it's simplified, it's easy. Someone is gonna look directly at that thumbnail and say, okay, it's a video about cameras. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on it. And maybe if that's the topic or niche that you're in, this is gonna work just fine. And the best part, you're using AI, which means you are not taking someone else's photo. You're letting the computer do all the work, which means you're not gonna get any sort of copyright strike. At least, I don't think I am. But yeah, that's it. This is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you're gonna make thumbnails for your videos using AI, go down in the comments below and tell me how you did it. Maybe you've done a video. I wanna see it, I wanna watch it, I wanna interact with you guys. So tell me in the comments below. And while you're down there, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell because you wanna be notified when cool, new, awesome videos come up on this channel. 
So thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.